Well, it might not have started feeling like fall outside, but believe it or not, Halloween is just less than a week away. And as Grace Joel reports tonight, don't expect to see many trick-or-treaters wearing red noses this year. From royalty, a uh, princess, to cat-like reflexes. I'm going to be a cat woman this year. These are some of the more popular alter egos this year for shoppers at Halloween Express in Harbison. This is the only holiday you can dress up, scare people, um, be creative. It's so much fun. Bozo, in any form, not so much. It's super, super scary. After all the reported clown sightings that have captured recent national headlines, they're not surprised. They've realized that it's not something to joke with right now. One Mississippi county actually banned all clown masks, costumes, and makeup until November 1st. Target stopped selling clown masks. I'm just going to try to stay far away from clowns if I do see some. No clowning around for Midlands residents this year, but nationwide, the clown costume is actually the ninth most popular. That's according to Google's Frightgeist, which uses search data to compile a list. Also in the top 10 are Wonder Woman, a pirate, and a comic book turned film star. Probably Holly Quinn. She's done very well this year. And of course, in a year filled with politics and Pokemon, Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump, and Pikachu are popular picks. Or just throw on your standard witch hat, grab something to carry your goodies in, and leave the creepy clowns out of it. From Harbison, Grace Joyle, ABC Columbia News. <laughs>